Hello there, and thanks for joining me. I'm Corel Painter Master Aaron Rutten, and in this video, I'm going to show off a couple of new brushes for Corel Painter 2018. These are cloner brushes, and I'm going to use them to create a clone painting of myself. The two brushes that I'll be using are Wet Oily Cloner and Rough Knife Cloner. Those are found in the cloners category. I'll just really quickly show you what each of these brushes can do. Wet Oily Cloner gives you wet oily brush strokes. Now, I'm not actually cloning here, I'm just painting with this clone source, which is Right now it's set to hens and chicks, but if I wanted to set it to something else, you'd see I get a different color here. And I get that nice, oily, grainy stroke. You can see there's a little bit of paper grain in that, and I can actually change my paper grain up here at the top if I want it to be more of a canvas style grain, or I can have it be something larger and more broken if I increase the paper's scale and contrast in the paper's panel, I can get bigger, thicker grain. If you use really light pressure in a bigger brush, you're going to get a more grainy, oily stroke like this. If you press down firmly, you're really going to smudge the paint around. Let's take a look at the second brush, which is the Rough Knife Cloner. And this particular brush uses the Dab Stencil, which can be set to Flow Map, Paper, or Texture. Right now I have it set to Flow Map. I have my Flow Maps panel open. If you're looking for any of these panels, you can find them under the Window menu, Palette Drawers, Flow Maps, and there's also the Papers panel there. So Rough Knife Cloner can do something kind of like this. It looks kind of like a rough palette knife. If you use a big brush, you can get a big broad area covered really easily, or you can use a smaller brush to go in and add some little individual brush stroke effects like this. You can also vary your pen pressure, so you can press lightly to get a more subtle, more oily result. As I mentioned, you can play with the flow map here, so I can increase the scale of the flow map, and now I get this bigger, broader, chunkier result. If I reduce the scale of the flow map, then it's a much finer grain. I can change the flow map itself to something completely different like horizontal flow. And now you can see I get that different texture there. So this flow map is stenciling off the strokes. So now that we know how to use each of these brushes, let's go ahead and do a clone painting. I've gone ahead and reverted my image to get rid of those brush strokes. And I'm going to go to File, Quick Clone. And now I have the photo of myself loaded in as a clone source. You can see that's accessible up here in the Enhanced Properties bar. Now I can control the opacity of that. I can also hit T on my keyboard to show and hide my tracing image. So I'm going to start with the Rough Knife Cloner. I'm going to make a really big brush here. I'm going to switch my flow map back to clouds. I'll choose kind of a medium setting here. And I'm just going to go through and scrub in the background here really quickly with a big brush. And feel free to do it kind of sloppy because we want this to look rough and unfinished around the edges. I'll use a smaller brush near the shirt. And I'll make sure to pick up my pen periodically so that I'm smudging around different colors here rather than just the same color. We just want to just block this in. You can hit T periodically to see how it's coming along, but you can see already it gives us this nice painterly effect. This particular brush is utilizing the new liquid drip technology, and you can even use this on a new layer. So if I wanted to create multiple layers in my artwork, I could do that. I could create a new layer, and I can clone, and you can see now with the sergeant and liquid and drip brushes, you can now paint on a separate layer, and these brushes will work. In earlier versions of Painter, you couldn't do that. So that's a really nice new feature that was added here. For this particular painting, I'm fine just working on one layer for now. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Layers, Drop All. I'll go ahead and block in the face a little bit too. You'll notice that I'm sticking to areas that are similar. So for example, I'm painting just the hair, just the shirt, just the skin. And I'm trying to keep within those general shapes. That way I don't smudge my color around too much. And use a smaller brush if you need to, to go in there and just clean up some of those fine edges. I want to try to cover up most of the white in this image. I don't mind leaving a little bit so that it looks kind of unfinished, but I don't want it to look too sloppy. And use that same smaller brush just to go in and block in some of the eye areas so that we can tell where those are at. And then now that we have everything pretty well blocked in, I'm going to switch to the Wet Oily Cloner. And I'm just going to use this to kind of clean this up in some areas blend and smooth it out. That way I have a nice mixture of these rough strokes that I did with the Rough Knife Cloner and these nice, soft, deliberate strokes that look like oil paint with the Wet Oily Cloner. I want to follow the contours of the face, like so. I want this to be kind of impressionistic, so I'm not going to copy the reference photo exactly. I'm going to keep it kind of loose so it looks like a painting. You can use really light pressure just to kind of blend everything together here. And 
Now I'm going to zoom in a bit closer here so that I can use a smaller brush to get more of the details on the face. All right, so now that I've blocked in the face, I'm going to go back to the Ref Knife Cloner. And in some of these background areas here, I'm just going to bring back in those big, broad brush strokes. Can do that on the shirt as well. And then back to the Rough Knife Cloner. And I'll just use that to break this up a bit more. And I think with just a few more strokes here, I have a finished clone painting. These new cloner brushes in Corella Painter 2018 are awesome. I recommend that you check them out. If you like this demonstration, take a quick second to click the like button. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more Corel Painter videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.